Do you despise the thought of sitting in a classroom all day long with people lecturing you on things that you could probably just Google? Does it terrorize you in the night when you're about to go to bed about all the time and money that it would cost to go to a brick and mortar four year degree? Well, have no fear. In this video, I'm going to go over how you can become a cybersecurity expert without a college degree. Now, getting into cybersecurity or a cybersecurity job, you don't need a bachelor's degree at all. However, you will need to compensate for your lack of bachelor's degree. It comes down to five basic things, which I'm going to go into depth in this video. So those things are certificates, experience, education, networking, and how your resume looks. And if you lack formal education, you're going to need to compensate with certificates and experience, or you need to know a lot of people and get a job that way. For instance, if I got a PhD right now, because I have eight years of experience in the IT field, it probably really wouldn't make much of a difference unless I wanted to teach at a university. And also you could get away with not having a degree in the cybersecurity field because it's such a new field. Things such as becoming a doctor, or an accountant are very old professions, so you definitely need to go the traditional route for those. But because cybersecurity is so new, there are many back doors that have yet to be closed and you can discover them because there are many. This channel is all about helping you reskill and get a job in tech, so like, comment, and subscribe, and you will get notifications from myself about the tech world. Also, there will be timestamps below if you want to skip to different sections or rewatch various sections, so make sure to check that out. And let's get into it. The first thing you want to look at when getting into cybersecurity are certifications if you want to go the no degree route. And experience and certifications are really going to be your way in. And that is where the CompTIA certs really shine. Because if you have that one to two years experience, and I'll talk about later in the video on how to get that experience without a traditional job, then getting those certs are key. The CompTIA also came out with the CYSA Plus Plus, and the Security Plus and the CYSA Plus combined with like a year of experience will definitely get you a good paying entry level job. I also created a video on entry level cybersecurity certifications. If you would want to go look at that, it will be right up here. The next criteria that you should really look into is experience. And this is what you should really focus your time on. If say you're in an internship and you're confused on whether or not you should get a certificate or like focus more on the internship and the experience you gain, always focus on the experience that you're going to gain because you'll gain skills and operational knowledge, which is way better than theory knowledge that you're going to gain in any search. Trust me on that. And there are a couple of ways to get experience for a cyber security analyst role or SOC analyst role, entry level cybersecurity jobs in general. And that is to number one, you could always volunteer at various places in the tech department. People are always looking for tech people. And if you can be like, I can help you with those problems, such as a network administrator or a system administrator, that would be invaluable because that will give you background knowledge on how to read logs, configuration of devices, and applying different types of policies. You can also ask around your friends and your family members if they need any help with their computers or networking or networking equipment, and you can definitely put that experience on your resume. And also become aware of security in your everyday life. For instance, do you lock your doors? How secure are your passwords? Do you check your logs? Do you have two-factor authentication on all of your accounts? Do you use a password manager? And best practices like that, so you really have to embody 
what it is to be a cybersecurity expert. The second way that you could get experience is through an internship. And I know a lot of you don't want to work for free. However, it is a really good way to gain experience and maybe even get a back door to a job because you may meet somebody and be like, hey, I have a job and I like you, come work with me. Things like that happen all of the time. So do not pass up free non-paid work because you might have a lot of fun you might meet some people and they usually don't expect as much from you because you are free. There is also the government internship program and the link will be below. As you search for pathway internships in that link and internships for the federal government will come up. And these are usually lower paying. However, if you can work for the government without getting your degree by doing an internship instead, that would be absolutely vital for your success as a cybersecurity expert. The third way would be to volunteer as an employee for a nonprofit in your organization. Maybe get your foot into the door at a hospital because hospitals are huge and they really need cyber protection. And if you show eagerness in cyber cybersecurity and to also just work for free, they will probably be more than willing to accommodate you as everybody loves those eager, enthusiastic people just entering the workforce and they just want to learn everything. And what you can do is you can even create tasks for yourself, such as I will make sure that your logs are good. I will look for any anomalies. I will make sure that the employees are trained in basic security protocols. So you could definitely go there and just create your own cybersecurity program for these nonprofits that could really use your help and you will gain networking and skills and you are contributing to society in a good way. And that leads me to my third factor that you really should look when you're trying to become a cybersecurity expert, and that is networking. Now, I am naturally just an introvert, and so I really don't like to network, really, but I do understand the importance of networking. And if you are volunteering or have an internship, this also builds your network of people that will be able to help you. And in three to six months, you may have relationships and then that may lead to cybersecurity jobs. If you're an introvert, it's a little bit hard, but if you turn it into a game and realize that everybody who you come into contact is precious and has useful information for you and they want to help you and you want to help them, then it becomes kind of fun, you know, to meet all of these people. And then you don't know where it's going to lead you. So you, you don't have to have all the answers before. So go out, there's also meetup.com and there's a lot of technical meetups depending on the city that you're in. And those can be extremely useful. I just moved to a new state and I'm going to meetups that to where I can hopefully meet people because honestly, people are what make the place and the workplace and super important to cultivate relationships. I wish someone had told me that earlier on in my life. Cultivate relationships and keep them. Google volunteer opportunities in like Seattle, Washington, and then just start going to various volunteer places places, meetups, and you will be successful in meeting people. Fourth factor in becoming a cybersecurity expert and getting a job would be your resume. Now, keep in mind that your resume is a legal document that employers keep on file for why they didn't hire you. So it, it covers them because they have equal opportunity and the only way to prove they didn't hire you, not because you are a female, but just because that you just weren't qualified is what your resume is about. So your resume really needs to be on point because they are looking for reasons to disqualify you. And there are four or people that you're writing your resume for. And again, I will have a Skillshare class on this at some point in the future, which you can see the link below. But those four people are the applicant tracking system. So this is the software that scans keywords, the hiring manager, the recruiter, and the interviewers. And these are all gonna be looking at your resume to disqualify you. Make sure your resume is Perfect. And the five things you also need to keep in mind when you are writing your resume are the keyword test, the scan test, the qualification test, and finally the fit test. So how well you can communicate to people in person. And so these are major factors that you definitely need to keep in mind. 
And finally, the last part is education. And a bachelor's degree really isn't needed if you can compensate with the other four factors. So if you don't have a degree and don't have the money to get a degree, it's totally okay. And I'm not sponsored, but I really think Western Governors University is a good school to go to because you can actually take as many courses as you want in one term. And the term is six months and it's usually three to $4,000 and you can speed up your bachelor's degree from four years to maybe two. And I've seen some people do it in six months. It just depends on how much time you want to dedicate to it. Um, it is a good alternative. And I do have some reviews that I will also link up here that you can go and check out. And are the five important things on how to get a job in cybersecurity. So I hope you really like this. Watch out for my class on how to create a killer resume. And please comment, like, and subscribe and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.